Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's vocation series of YouTube tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today we're going to do a traditional nested for and X loop to work out the prime numbers between 1 and 100, and then we're going to look at a much simpler way to do it using the MATLAB function is prime. As I've said before, nested for and next loops in MATLAB are redundant and indeed frowned upon because the execution time is quite high compared to MATLAB's inbuilt functions. But we're going to do two two examples today just to show the the differences. So just have that zoomed up as much as I can. So remember we're trying to find the prime numbers uh, between one and one hundred. So we have a nested for next loop. There's the outer loop, there's the inner loop and mod ij so remember mod is the modulus so we're getting the mod of i over j so the mod will get the remainder and if there's no remainder that lab there the tilde is the not you return a logic of one that breaks and what the break does is it gets you back to the next iteration of the loop it's in and that be to the next j. So a little complicated. So if no remainder, you know, because remember, if there's no remainder, then it's uh, um, not prime. Okay. So now, if there is a remainder, you have to do a little check here, and. You have it might take a second or two. So we're only going to do this so that we only check. We only print out the prime number once because if we don't put that check in, we could print the same number out again and again. So that's how we do it with that little if condition there. So you just go around there, and the inner loop is 2 to 200, the outer loop is 2 to 200. And you'll see if we scroll down a little bit there, there, that's the outcome of the for next. If you want to do it with the inbuilt function, the inbuilt function is, I have to treat, have it in three lines there, but is prime. So that gives a logical index. So it'll work out, MATLAB will work out whether the number is prime or not, the index, and then you just num IDX. The IDX would be a, a logical interface, so you just want to convert it to numbers. And if we scroll down here a little bit, you can see then it'll print out, it'll convert the logical ones to num and then it'll print them out. The only difference is here that in this one here, uh, num IDX would be a, a row vector. Okay, so hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.